Hey everybody, it's Kevin DeWalt from Pro Lego. Well, one of the exciting and at times frustrating parts of working in AI as an AI leader is that you encounter lots of stories in the media about AI and the technology and the risks and ethics and colleagues and friends and relatives ask you about them uh, and ask your opinion. Uh, well, the, the media got a lot of fresh meat yesterday when some of the top minds in AI and philosophy released a statement about the AI risks. Uh, and I'll just read the statement out to you. It says, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. Uh, so, <laughs> wow, it doesn't get any bolder than this. The statement was signed by some of the best minds in AI and in philosophy. Everybody from Sam Altman to Sam Harris, Daniel Dennett. I mean, pretty much in, it's, it reads like a who's who of the leading thinkers in the world. What I like about this statement is that unlike these previous ones that where it was like this like poorly thought out you know, idea of pausing AI, which doesn't really seem to be a realistic solution, um, this one doesn't offer unrealistic solutions, just makes a statement of intention and kind of starts the debate about what we should do about it. Um, so that's what I liked about it. Also, it's, it's hosted on the Center for AI Safety. And if you look on the site, there's a couple of other links they have to describe specific potential risks for AI. And I thought those are all valid and well thought out. So I, that's what I really liked about what they said. But as you can imagine, with any kind of bold claim like that, obviously it's going to spark uh, discussion and disagreement. And the, the best response I've read so far came from Jeremy Howard of Fast AI and some of his colleagues. He's been a, a leading thinker in this domain for years and offers some fantastic courses um, on AI. The crux of Jeremy's argument is that while AI poses risks and we have to take these seriously, the risks do not rise to the level of being a, um, a global priority. And you know, comparing them to you know, compared to nuclear holocaust, <laughs> global pandemics, and you know, you know, urgent climate change. And I have to say, he's got some pretty good points. I mean, to you know, let's be clear: if we're talking about a global priority, you know, does the potential of AI's risks rise to the level of nuclear holocaust? I mean, we're witnessing the two largest su nuclear superpowers in the world engaging in a proxy war in Eastern European right now. I mean, these are existential risks for all of us. And we just are, are, we are still living through the tail end of a global pandemic that killed millions of people and disrupted everyone's lives. And the experts are telling us that the, a future pandemic that is more deadly could, and more you know, transmissible could be vastly um, worse. And of course, all of us are living daily through the urgent changes in climate change. Um, so I guess the, my reaction to this is that, yes, these risks from AI are real. We have to pay attention to them. But when you're faced with an, a potential you know, existential event, like nuclear power or pandemics or runaway climate change, we don't sit around debating the pros and cons with each one of them. We know what the solutions are. Get rid of the nukes, stop the pandemics, and let's figure out a way to stop releasing carbon in the air because these are existential issues. And I don't see that same sense of urgency with AI right now. So, um, so anyway, I think those are two valid concerns and I can see the pros and cons to both sides of the argument. Uh, which is where in I, I come to my opinion for how I deal, deal with these issues. I try to be humble and I try to accept that there are reasonable arguments on both sides. And when people ask me about that, I explain the arguments and, and, and explain them like I really don't know what's going to happen. But I tell people that I'm glad that we are having this debate. It's one we should take seriously. And I'm glad it's happening in the open uh, among people who are making good arguments and have respect for each other. So that's how I hope I approach these questions. And if you're asked the same ones by your employees or friends or colleagues, I hope this helps give you some advice for how to handle them. Have a great day.